members of the diaspora coming to Guyana and Guyana to invest the work is not a threat, rather it's a plus and should be more welcoming and we should be looking at more avenues how we can involve and engage them because there's so much that's going to take place in this country that you know the 800,000 of us here alone will not be able to develop uh, but we will need another 800,000 perhaps from the diaspora to come back here and to move this country forward and to make it as it were um, the Dubai of, 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 of the region. Foreign Secretary with direct responsibility for diaspora engagement, Robert Persaud, in an exclusive interview today with the Guyanese Diaspora News, said that ethnic conflict, political and economic stability, and weeding out corruption, high on the government's agenda as they seek to harness the investment potential and skilled Guyanese diaspora. We want to build a society in which all can be, can play a part, all can enjoy the benefits. And that also requires some level of what we call constitutional reform, electoral reform, um, ensuring that we put the necessary means and mechanisms in place to safeguard against the types of conflict, um, mismanagement, corruption, uh, you know, and have great participation and involvement through the modernization and reform of our constitution and look at our relevant laws and create a regime, a framework in our country that address those matters. Security has always been an issue um, in, in, for Guyana, and, and we're not only unique in that regard. And we've looked at the other cases where, you know, how other countries have handled those, especially when it relates to the concerns of the diaspora. And we believe that with the focus that we have and the commitment, um, we'd be able to address those. But it is something that, that is a priority for the government, um, the president, uh, the prime minister, the vice president, ministers of government have been speaking on this um, and the investment and, and that we've been given to the security forces too. Um, and then there'll be renewed focus on how it is that we can uh, pro properly, as it were, resource our security uh, agencies in this regard to have that address. But it all has to be seen in, a, in this framework whereby we want mm -hmm. to modernize and create a society that's stable and where there's inclusion and participation uh, by all sectors, all groups, um, persons of all persuasion in, in our development effort. Robert Montgomery Persaud is a Burbishan by birth. He has been active in the People's Progressive Party Civic, PPPC, since the early 90s. Persaud served for 14 years in the cabinet of the PPPC government, nine of which in senior ministerial posts. First, with responsibility for the agriculture sector, and second as Minister of Natural Resources and the Environment. With this long-standing and vast experience in government relations, expertise in oil and gas and international business, coupled with his academic qualifications, being the holder of a master's degree in business administration from the University of the West Indies, Persaud is technically and professionally highly skilled for the role of advising the foreign minister on issues of foreign trade and diaspora engagement. Nearly every flight that comes to Guyana over the past several weeks, there are a number of Guyanese who are on those, on, on, on those flights. And they're here looking and searching for opportunities. And that's, that's a good sign. Whether it's in the um, hotel, whether it's in the entertainment, whether it's in the service sector, whether it's also in terms of real estate, housing development, infrastructure development, um, even in terms of persons looking into to, um, looking for joint ventureship with existing businesses, some looking in terms of the financial sector. So what I would say is that there's not a, in one particular area, some in food production themselves, um, people looking in terms of modernizing healthcare. And it's, it's a very dynamic uh, situation in the sense that, you know, there's so many opportunities that persons are exploring. And we, what we seek to do is to give the best advice we can. But at the end of the day, that's a private initiative. Uh, we can only point to where, where those opportunities are and perhaps and allowing the, 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 as much as, as we can facilitate and enable the diaspora to get involved. Mm -hmm. So you're saying there are already possibly hundreds of interests expressed? I, would, I, I wouldn't want to put a quantity, but I can tell you it's, you know, for instance, this week alone, I have... And this is just speaking from my office alone. I have about seven Guyanese businesses, um, potential investors from the diaspora who are here and who want, you know, want to be updated on, 
on some of our plans from, from the perspective of the Ministry of, of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. So just take that as an example. I'm quite sure if you speak to Go Invest, there might be a longer line. I'm sure if you speak to the office at present, a much longer line, you know. Mm -hmm. And so we can see this happening around. Things are buzzing, people are coming, but again, I want people to also not to have uh, high expectations or unreasonable expectations, but rather to look, search out the opportunities, make the best business decision, and, and they can be assured and rest assured that government is here to facilitate, to enable, and to, as much as possible, make it make things happen to the best interest of our national economy and development. Mm -hmm. Working with Peter Ramsarup at G-Invest, uh, how will you work, the two units work, to cut red tape and bureaucracy to make it easier for uh, diaspora and any investor? Well, the president had made it clear that he wants a single window uh, arrangement whereby, you know, rather than run, persons have to be running from office to office, desk to desk, have a single window arrangement whereby we're investors. And that is where I think with a renewed focus on G Invest with uh, Mr. Ramsroop there, I'm quite sure we'll be able to advance that. We're, there are already a number of proposals where persons would have come to us here in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, and then we would have facilitated um, them where they have proposals and how it is we can establish the single window, whether it's for investors, whether it's for you to get permits, um, just getting business done with ease, uh, without, as you refer to as red tape, without frustration, um, and, and the problems that are associated with that. So it is also part of that modernization uh, plan. Persaud is currently the lead in drafting Guyana's diaspora engagement strategy and the plan of action, a document which will pave the way for a more structured approach to diaspora engagement and remigration. A virtual diaspora conference is planned tentatively for the first week in December. One of the major aspects of the strategy is the creation of a diaspora engagement desk at key consular posts. But how will this desk function? You know, we want to make our missions all across the world, wherever we have missions or, or consulates, we want them to be economic agents of the country, not only providing um, the, the routine diplomatic services, whether the bilateral um, cooperation programs or the multilateral cooperation program or consular services. But we want to make all our missions economic watch, watch, watch posts, as it were, whereby our officers will now be oriented to one, to be able to serve the diaspora in terms of providing information, arranging, as it were, the types of engagement they're looking at, keeping them up to date, um, pointing them to where the opportunities are. Um, also to be, be be that, as it were, that service provider to the diaspora um, in terms of being responsive to their queries as much as possible, what support we can offer and provide. Um, so it is, it is making that extra effort. Also searching out economic opportunities. Maybe they may be a business in Guyana looking for, for a, a, a partner in the U.S., we want that information to be able to be transmitted to our office and they themselves do in their interaction would say, you know, there's this opportunity that has come up. Why, and, and just make that connection and let, and, and let things happen. The CSIS study estimates that approximately only half of Guyanese now live within the borders of Guyana due to steady migration since the 1970s. Guyana's immigration rate is one of the highest in the world, numbering about 30,000 annually, making it the country with the highest levels of brain drain of any country on earth. Therefore, Guyana has a large skilled diaspora, and if the government were to engage and attract a large portion to remigrate, Guyana's growth and development agenda goals can be closer to realization. According to the CSIS, more than 400,000 Guyanese people reside in the U.S., while close to 90,000 call Canada their home, although some estimate this figure to be higher. Approximately 30,000 reside in the UK, and Caribbean island states and Latin America each have populations ranging from 5 to 15,000. For the Guyanese Diaspora News, I'm Jennifer Jabbar.